Lord, you have been our dwelling place. Some might say that it's just a building. And I guess in a way you could say, well, yeah, I guess that's true. But in another way, you can say it's not just a building because of what's happened inside of these walls. So what's happened here? You came and water trickled down your head in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And you come and receive the very body and blood of Christ for your forgiveness of sins. And you came here battered and broken and condemned by sin and weighed down with guilt. And you left through those same doors refreshed and revitalized and alive in the gospel of Jesus Christ. See, the gospel happened here. Well, it's very emotional. My father put his heart and soul into this ministry. And I remember him talking about when this building was built. And he was friends with the architect and he took care of every little detail. As I sat in church, I thought about how often we sat there with our kids. Um, our grandkids were sitting in front of us and it brought back memories of when our kids were that age. What a, just, what a rich blessing this church has been. I was moved way more than I ever thought I would be sitting in church today um, because of the flood of memories that came back. I am very sad because this is where I grew up and this is all I've ever known. Many of us have tears in our eyes this morning or you will have tears. But I pray that those tears that run down your cheek are also tears of joy this morning. Tears of joy as you think about that gospel message continuing on and continuing to be proclaimed and to go to more and more people. I immediately thought to the future. I, I was thinking to myself, wow, this is so great, the new location, the new school, all the new people that we're reaching out to. I'm also super excited to start at the new church because I feel like it's going to be a good outreach program and we're going to be able to touch so many other people's lives. I think it's just going to be an awesome opportunity to have all of our worship, our school, our daycare all on the same campus. We close this church building as a place of worship in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. See, what is it that makes St. Matthew St. Matthews? It's not 818, it's not an address, it's not the iconic stone arch that I'm standing underneath right now. What makes St. Matthew St. Matthews? The Gospel. The Holy Spirit changing hearts and lives and bringing people from darkness to light, from death to life, through the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's what makes St. Matthew St. Matthew.